So hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So today in this video I'm going to share with you all how I made this chocolate cake. And I made this chocolate cake after many years, especially for my husband's birthday. And it come out, came out really well. And I will show you all the recipe to make uh, the chocolate cake. And it's very easy and as well as you can make it in your oven or in your OTG or uh, in your cooker as well. So let's get started with the ingredients. So the step one is to uh, take all the ingredients and keep it ready. So here I got um, one cup of maida or you can use all purpose flour and cocoa powder 2 tablespoon and baking powder 2 teaspoon, baking soda 1 teaspoon, powdered sugar 1 cup which is 150 grams and butter this is unsalted butter 3 fourth cup and you need room temperature 3 eggs and milk just like uh, 10 to 50 ml we'll use it at the end of the mixture so coffee powder one tablespoon and a pinch of salt so these are the ingredients you, you just need to make this chocolate cake so if you don't want eggs you can very well add three fourth cup of yogurt and you can replace the butter to oil and now I'm going to line the cake tin using this butter paper. So I'm just going to measure like this and cut using a scissor. So this is the trick which I use to line my cake tin. So I'm just going to cut it like this so that it becomes a perfect circle shape which fits the cake tin. So yes, now I'm just going to take butter or oil and just line all over the cake tin so that uh, the cake doesn't stick to the pan or the cake tin. So I'm just going to crease using butter or oil. And then you keep it aside. So now if you are using a cooker or if you are using micro oven, keep it in the convection mode for 20 minutes. You should preheat for 160 degrees. So if you are using cooker, keep it on the medium flame without the whistle and close the lid uh, for about 15 minutes. So I am using this OTG from Morphe Richards. So step 3. So I am just going to take a white bowl like this. And I'm going to uh, put all the dry ingredients and uh, strain like this so that there is no lumps. So starting off with 1 cup of flour, 2 tablespoon of cocoa powder and baking powder, 1 teaspoon, baking soda, 1 teaspoon, salt, half teaspoon and instant coffee powder, 1 te teaspoon. And I'm just going to sieve it. So just get rid of the lumps and then keep it aside. So step 4 is for the liquid ingredients. So I am using here food processor. You can very well use your hand blender or um, any whisk. So starting off with I am just going to crack open 3 eggs which is in room temperature and I am just going to blitz it. So I find easy to make this in food processor. So just blitz it for about 30 seconds. And we are just going to add the ingredients one by one. So next I am just going to take 3 fourth cup of butter which is melted butter. Unsalted and melted butter. And you can very well use the room temp temperature butter as well. And uh, taking 3 fourth cup of butter and again I'm going to blitz it for about 30 seconds or until it's creamy. So again blitz it. 
and then for the last ingredient is the powdered sugar so I'm just going to take one cup of powdered sugar which is 150 grams and again I'm going to add this and blitz it for about 30 seconds so as I told you you can very well use your hand blender or any whisk make sure it's creamy in texture and even so yes I'm just going to keep uh, the liquid ingredients separately and step fry just mix the dry ingredients and add the liquid ingredients and here you can very well use your hand blender and you should make sure you just mix all the ingredients in one direction it's really important to mix the ingredient all the ingredients in one direction because it gives you a smooth and uh, smooth and soft texture to the cake and we are going to add milk at the last stage and I just need more uh, like I'll just show you the consistency so it's I just added about 10 to 20 ml of milk which is in room temperature make sure the milk is full fat milk and the consistency should be like this and transfer to the cake tin which is already creased and again pour it in one direction and you just need to tap this cake tin so that the extra air bubbles escapes and now I'm going to place it in the OTG for up and cook for about 35 to 45 minutes and if you're using cooker you just place it in the cooker with some stand for about 30 to 35 minutes So my cake cooked for about 40 to 45 minutes and you can very well insert a toothpick or a small spoon like this to check whether the cake is cooked. So if it com comes clean the cake is cooked. So it's clean now and my cake is cooked. Place in the cooling tra tray and let them cool. And I'm just going to take the crust with the help of a knife and um, I just placed it in a plate upside down. As you all can see it's so soft and moist and now at this stage I'm going to uh, do frosting which is nothing but Cadbury's choco spread. So I'm just going to give the first coat and uh, spread it all over the cake and keep it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. You can apply as many coats you want. Make sure the chocolate cake is cooled. You can very well uh, do frosting of butter, buttercream or fresh cream. So take your time and apply it all over the cake. And this is my first coat. I'm just going to keep it in the fridge and cook for about, uh, I mean, and keep for about 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, I'm just going to take it and apply the second coat. So I just applied the second coat and, this, the, and I'm going to um, decorate it using gems. You can very well grate chocolates and decorate it. And there are various different sprinkles available in the market. You can very well use that. And uh, my husband's name is Naresh Prabhu. So I just decorated like this. So that is all. This is how I made chocolate cake. And if you want to see the celebration of my husband's birthday, then watch this video fully. And if you're still new to my channel, then click on that red subscribe button and join my family. I make videos related to cooking in this channel. And the links of the other videos and the other channels are in the description box. So please do go and 
check it out and subscribe to those channel as well so i hope you like this chocolate cake recipe let me know in the comment section if you tried this chocolate cake and send me the pictures of your chocolate cake which you tried in through my mail which is given in the description box so that is all i will catch you in my next video until then stay happy follow me on instagram which is given in the description box and finally i'm just going to sprinkle the powdered sugar which just looks like a snow i love this decoration it makes me so happy so yes i will all catch you in my next video until then stay happy so the cake turned out so soft and moist Love you all so much. Bye-bye. Take care.